Hello there, survivors. Today I am super excited to take you on a journey of crafting a lead resistant raft in Ark Survival Ascended. Whether you're braving treacherous waters or just want that extra layer of security, this tutorial is your ticket to ensuring your raft can handle the toughest challenges of the Ark. But let me set the record straight before we dive in. This is a lead resistant raft, not lead proof. Crafted strategically, it'll help you evade those pesky leads as long as you keep things moving. Now a quick heads up, alpha leads are a whole different level of annoyance, so watch out for those. Nevertheless, with this raft, you should be embarking on epic journeys and returning with even more supplies than you set out with. Ready to dive into the details? Let's start building this beast. I'll guide you through every step of the way. First things first, these are the materials that you are going to need. After that, you're going to need to lower your sail. Now let me show you how to hide your sail. Uh, it's hidden right now. Alright, so the sail is not hidden. Now this is all you have to do to hide it. You go into your options and go up to hide sail. And now it is hidden. Next, you're going to need a fence foundation. Now it doesn't matter if it's stone, if it's wood. Um, Either will work, you're not going to leave these on the raft. Um, so you're going to want to hold E, or whatever your respective button is on console. And you're going to want to turn it like this, and kind of line it up as best as you can with this hole that you're seeing on the left side. You're going to want to try to keep it as center as possible. Next, you're going to want to pull out a pillar. Again, this one, the materials don't matter. It can be stone, wood, whichever you have on you at the time. Now you're going to want to pull out your foundations. You're going to want to start with the center one right here, and then work your way around the raft. Just make sure you leave the, the middle spot right here empty, and then switch to a ceiling, and then change this to a hatch frame. Now keep your ceilings out, and we're going to go ahead and add one more layer right here. So we put a hatch frame here so you can still drive the raft. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the pillar and then the fence foundation. Right now on the front, you're going to want some triangle ceilings. I like to do two, um, two layers of them right here. All right, now on the back, you're going to... Oh, actually, before we do that, you're going to want to cover where you put the ceilings. You're going to want to cover below that with walls. So go ahead and pull out some walls. And we're not going to fly around to do this. I'm going to show you that you guys can do this without flying. You can just do it uh, wherever you have room in the water. You'd always add more on the side here if you want to. But you don't have to... Um. This might give you more protection right here, which would help out a little bit, but I didn't use it for this build. And now, let me just, there we go. I just feel like anytime I'm trying to build underwater, it always goes really weird. Oh, wait. Because, like, you get the snap point you want, and then your character keeps moving. Wait, wait, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Just gotta find the sweet spot, I guess. There we go. Make sure you got all the sides. All good. Awesome. Alright, now, since we're back here anyway, we can go ahead and set up these rafts. Or ramps. <laughs> Put the ramps on the raft. There we go. Alright. So what I noticed, um, I've already built one of these and I took it out against a lead earlier. And it seemed like the rafts kept the lead away. So you could always put rat or <laughs> ramps. The ramps kept the lead away. Um, and you'll you'll see it. I have it at the end of the video, and I had a little bit at the beginning of the video. But it kind of like the normal lead, not the alpha lead, the, the alpha lead just did not care about anything I had on this raft. But the regular lead, um, it just kind of like hung out right here and it tried to bump the raft, but it couldn't. So it wasn't doing any damage and it would like bump into this right here uh, and it wasn't doing anything. 
So you could potentially put a bunch of ramps just around the raft if you want to. Um, I might test that out later just to see what it happens, but I don't know, it was kind of interesting just to see the lead, just kind of super confused as to what was going on. Uh, here we go. We're going to put up some stone door frames. And you can do like double doors or you don't even have to do a door at all. You could put, just put like, um, I mean, you don't have to put like a door in here, but I'm, I'm going to put a door. And then you're going to come to the front and put up two sloped walls. You want them to face that way and that way. Now you're going to want to take some railings out. And then put them all the way around. In the back, you're going to want to put one up here as well. There we go. Now get out some stone pillars, and we're going to put those all the way around as well. Um, leave the stone pillar off of this for now, and off of this one for now. We're going to put them on in a minute. Now pull the rails back out, and go ahead and go all the way around again, except when you get right here, aim it up. And then right here, aim it up again. Now if you have the the pillars right there, whenever you're trying to put the railings up for some reason, they won't go up like that. And then now you can put them up. So this is basically the raft. It doesn't look amazing, but it, it does the job. It uh, Like I said, it's lead resistant, so you'll be able to get to shore if you need to. Um, some tips for getting away from a lead, you kind of want to serpentine a little bit because they pretty much come at you pretty straight. Um, but you can, you can dodge them pretty easily if you hear them coming. Usually they make like a little groan noise underwater before they hit you. And, um, yeah. But yeah, you can always like serpentine and stuff to extend the health of your raft for a little bit. Um, you could, so I'm going to put stuff on here that helps me on my journeys whenever I'm taking a raft. Normally if I have to take a raft out, it means that my, I died somewhere on a flyer and I am stuck without a flyer. So I have to take my raft out to get my flyer back. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I bring all this stuff along just in case I die on the way there. That way I can just spawn on this, on my raft. I'm putting up some preserving bins. These are things you don't have to put up. You could just put up a bunch of turrets if you really wanted to. That way you'd never have to worry about a lead or megalodons or anything. You could just just have like a little little power boat. But I like to bring all of this stuff along with me. That way I can always make armor if I need to or weapons or I can repair anything if I need to. Because I use my RG as a smithy. And if I'm rescuing it, I don't have my portable smithy with me. So now this makes it so I do. Put a table up over here. I always have issues with the tables. No! <laughs> just like that. I always have issues with the tables just like that. Let me try this. There we go. Um, there we go. Okay, nice. And then we'll put a mortar and pestle on it. Okay, good. I thought it was like looking crooked, but it's not. Now, we're going to put up some forges. And then large storage boxes. Um, you'll see whenever the raft is going against the leads that the storage boxes are actually at the front. And after the fact, I saw that this worked out a lot better. But like I said, you guys don't have to put any of this stuff in here. This is just what I would take with me if I was using a raft. But you can do whatever. If you want your raft to last a while, you could always just, like I said, put turrets up. Um, this does, it's open so you can land an RG, a pteranodon, anything you want on here. You might even be able to bring like an aloe or a rex. So you just have to like put a ramp here instead of um, this railing. 
But you could always extend this out a little bit just to make more room. But yeah, that is pretty much it. This is the completed look. As I said, it's not beautiful, but it'll get the job done. It kind of looks like a snake, doesn't it? It looks like a snake from the front. It just needs a, like a little tongue right there. <laughs> but alright, I'll show you how this fares against leads. Like I said, it's lead resistant, not lead proof. Um, I am... I was gonna try to put like... Spike walls on the bottom. Like you could in ASE, but... It didn't work, so... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to put spike walls on it. You can set them on top, but I don't think that's gonna do anything. You can like set them up here on the foundations, but I don't think that's really going to help. But alright, I'll show you how this fares against leads, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!